Hello friends! Today is such a nice rainy day and it's making me thinking about reading. Reading is such a fun thing to do on rainy days, right? So if you haven't done any reading today, how about you grab a book and check it out, okay? It's okay if you don't know all the words, you can just look at the pictures too. And if you're an older friend, you could read to a younger brother or sister if you want, all right? So we're gonna read a fun book that is a reader. So um, some friends can really read this. If you have it, go along, go ahead and read along with me. It's good practice. And it's called Clark the Shark Tooth Trouble. It is written by Bruce Hale and it's illustrated by Guy Francis. Clark the Shark Tooth Trouble. Clark the Shark loved reef soccer. Flick it and kick it, he cried. But sometimes it didn't love him. Pow! Ouchie, ow, ow. His tooth hurt. His tooth wobbled. What if it fell out of his mouth? You need to see a dentist. Dentist, said Mrs. Mahi, the school nurse. What's a dentist? asks Clark. Someone who fixes teeth, said Miss Mahi. I'll call your mother. As Clark waited for his mother, along came his friend, Joey Mackerel. Check this out, said Clark. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Ow, ow, ow. Cool, said Joey. Billy Ray Ray joined them. I'm going to the dentist today, said Clark the shark. No way, said Billy Ray. I hear dentists are scarier than a box full of blue whales. Yee. Really, said Joe. Really, said Clark. Really and truly, said Billy Ray. Uh-oh, oh no. Clark was worried. Remember, worried is being scared of something that hasn't happened yet. So you're thinking about something that might happen and it's taking over your brain. Let's find out what happens. And dentists are meaner than a 10 page math test, said Billy Ray Ray. Uh oh, no, no. Don't listen to him, said Joey Mackerel. You'll be fine. Clark wasn't so sure. When his mother came to get him, he asked, do I have to go? What's wrong? His mom asked. Billy Ray Ray says dentists are mean and scary, said Clark. Billy Ray also told you that whales can fly, said his mother. Oh yeah, said Clark. Then a rhyme popped into his head. Don't shed a tear because there's nothing to fear. That's right, said his mom. Do you think he's worried anymore? I don't think so. At last, Clark relaxed and smiled. He was his usual sharky self until they reached the dentist's office and Clark thought of a scary thought. What if Billy Ray was right? Come on in, you know the drill. At the dentist's office, Clark wailed. He hung onto the door and he clung to the chairs. No, he said, you can't make me. He, it took his mother, two dads, and a dental assistant to get Clark into the dentist's chair. And then, uh-oh, and oh no, in came the dentist. Hi, said the dentist. I'm Dr. Pia. Pia. What has teeth but cannot eat? Clark stared. Dr. Pia was tiny. A comb, she said. Get it? Teeth comb? <laughs> Dr. Pia juggled her tools. What time do you visit dentist? I don't know, said Clark. Tooth hurdy, she said. The dentist played happy music. Dr. Pia was nice. She had the gentlest fin and the silliest jokes. What a dentist's, what is the dentist's favorite animal? Asked Dr. Pia. I don't know, said Clark. What? A molar bear, she said. They laughed together. Ha ha ha, roared Clark. Dr. Pia worked on his mouth and then, here's that bad boy, said Dr. Pia. She held up the tooth. The new one will come in soon. Want a seaweed lollipop? The next day, Joey asked, so was the dentist scary? Clark smiled and said, I didn't shed a tear because there was nothing to fear. The end. There are some facts in the back. I love getting science facts. Okay. 
One, sharks have many rows of teeth, so they never run out of them. When a shark loses a tooth, another one moves into its place. Sharks lose their teeth more than once. Some lose up to 30,000 teeth in their lifetime. Sharks have the most powerful jaws of any animal on the planet. The end.